All right, we're back in the garage. We are continuing the engine build. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Do it at the beginning. You guys might forget. All right, so we are in the final stages, trying to figure out what parts are left. Uh, we are kind of all on our own here, just trying to figure it out as we go. So we'll you guys try not any... to resort to any, um, yeah. any um, external sources if we can. Now this, I'm pretty certain went right here-ish. And that follows because there's a little clip that will go there. And so this was the hydraulic fluid reservoir. And you have to use that CHF 11S, which I have a whole can of it. Um, and so. So per usual, if you guys see us doing something wrong, let us know in the comments. Okay. You think that thing mounts over to, oh, look at that. And then this mounts here. Yeah, because I, I remember on a different engine, on a 996, I had this crack. And it was a fairly simple replacement, oh, nice. except for, I remember this was a pain in the butt. Get the threads lined up. Yeah. And I know that it doesn't like screw on if it's the same as my 987. It just kind of twists and locks. Yeah, so you got to get it. It's got some scrunchy stuff on it. Let me spray it. So that's that aligns with that. And then that aligns roughly with that. So if I can get that nub into that nub. Doesn't seem right. It's gotta be that nub. <laughs> All right. Take two. <laughs> New nubs. That nub. This is unwound. Oh, of course, now. That sounded good. <laughs> sounded good. Oh, a couple. Okay. Lesson <laughs> learned. See that, see that tab on this? Uh -huh. Can you see it? Yeah. That lines up with a tab that's on the back. When it's locked. When it's locked. Yes. So, so that's that tab is, yes, it wasn't before. And this lined up there, which made it easier. And so now we'll do this. That mm -hmm. makes it look like we know what we're doing. See, if we wanted to edit and fool you guys. Yeah. What are you doing? In the middle of high dollar production here. It's a YouTube video. <laughs> yes. Millions, millions of millions. people affected. Yes. Residual. <laughs> All right. So we'll tighten that. What's your guess? 10 millimeters? 10? Is that 10? Sure do look like it. Look like 10. Smell like 10. Right. Must be a 10. It's a little big to me. Nice. Good and tight. Not too much. Just a structural support. Oh, look at that. We have successfully uh, completed the installation. All right, let's call it a day. That's <laughs> 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 All right, we just cleaned this thing up. What's this thing called? This? Yeah. Throttle body. <laughs> it's a good test. Yeah. All right, so it's got a built-in gasket here. Mm -hmm. Which we're gonna lube up a little bit. Four and bolts. We're gonna... I don't know which way this goes. Yeah, no, I don't either. I figured that. This thing's still loose because I didn't know oh, yeah. what direction, so that might go up or down or wherever. We'll need to look at the pictures, but I think it's probably something like that, maybe. All right, we have a new throttle body gasket. Here is our part number. Looks like this. Uh, they say if you ever take this off to service it or do anything, you want to replace it. It's got a nice little tab right here that you can grab and pull him off. All right, got the gasket back in place. All right, put this thing back on. We got uh, 
three bolts and the fourth bolt also goes through this little bracket right here. And uh, these are E10s. E10. And I get And they get torqued down to 10 newton meters. Got a lot of people working in the garage today. <laughs> Alex is making a ton of noise. All right, 10 newton meter, all these guys. God, 10 newton meters seems like a lot. All right, after we got this tightened up, we got these four tightened up coming from this direction. Uh, they are seven millimeters. So I just angled them here so you can get this over them. Uh, yeah, so I think that is tidied up. And we're gonna do these next. So we were trying to figure out if I had this on the right way. It seems like I do. Yes, blind Maybe. squirrel. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, is that the right yep. angle? So that, yep, matter? roughly there because this doesn't touch, but what the pictures look like. All right, so, so we're gonna thing. tighten those up. Oh, in and, this and have you have you talked about why you would want it in this direction? Yeah, because to get to the engine with it in the car, you want to go that way. Correct. Thank you very much for that insight. All right, these are all nice and tightened up. And while you have it out of the car and it's more easy, check underneath here. Uh, you can see similar to the top, there's a little nib i will call it down there to see if that is aligned properly so yeah just make sure that you don't have any gaps down there or else you will have a serious serious vacuum leak you also want to make sure all of the bands are even all the way down in their groove uh, if you're reusing these they'll have a groove because it's easy to have them slip off and be like you know over here when you're tightening them and you think it's on but it's not came across our first big oops uh, when trying to figure out where this big mess of stuff goes. It is gonna go underneath all of this stuff. So we missed some things. We're gonna back up some steps. Uh, so yeah, you get to see all of the mistakes and the good parts. So we're gonna remove these two tubes at a minimum and see if we can leave the intake manifolds on while we put this stuff in the right spot. All right, we just took one of these off. I think we can thread this thing through here. I think we figured out how this thing connects now. One of them goes to our AOS and the other side goes to the top throttle body over here. And there is still that paper towel in there. Just get to take that out. In here? Or down here. Oh. In that bottom connection. I just need some moodage. Oh, this is looking good now. I feel good. I feel good about this. Alex, how are you feeling? All right, so before we actually connect them though, we should put the rest of this in place just to make sure that. Oh, so you don't connect them? Yeah, don't connect them yeah, yet. We just wanna make sure it's <laughs> the right spot. We know that this one down there goes on top of the oil cooler. Oh. Here. Yeah, so oh, that'll go kinda of like that. I feel so much better because I was wondering what we were gonna do about that one. <laughs> Gotta lube the hoe. That one's gonna go there, and that one's gonna go there. I'm not yeah, clicking. So I think it. all of this wraps around here, and this all goes behind the intake. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What does this one say? Shoot. I thought it said like AOS, maybe. This said oil cooler, so yeah. this is gonna go here. Yeah, okay, that's definitely gonna go there. But don't connect him yet. I'm just gonna. Ah, I believe. See this down here? Yeah. There's a tube right there. Yeah, uh, there's a tube down there, and that's that guy. I think so. Yep, because that is part of the AOS, and that tape I did, I believe it said AOS. I think that's what it said. It's just really dark in three letters. B. I think it's at AOS. Let's see if we can reconstruct this. <laughs> broken. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> it says it. broken. Uh oh. 
<laughs> I, uh, I bet you that goes in there. And I bet it's probably broken. Yeah. I bet I bet that is the part that goes in there and that part it is broken. It used to look more like this. Hand over here. Probably. So we might need a new one of those. Looks All like right. it's got a part number, right? Or the one in the middle does at least. Not ah, right here. Nope. There's also a connector here of sorts that we should have from a oh, harness. An electrical connector. We got a couple dangling over here. <laughs> this is a two prong connector. What? Sure it's in there somewhere. Oh. Rat's nest. I, I can't see it, but I, I believe that that broke that piece and that goes into that. We might be able to make an adapter for it. All right, well, we started trying to tuck it under here and it's pretty ugly. We're gonna go ahead and take this off and try to figure out where everything really goes. All right, thank God Conrad finally found a little bit of old video of this thing. So we figured it out. These go on the outside of the fuel rail across the front of this. That little piece here clips on to the intake manifold. And that bottom little hook piece uh, is right here. It actually snaps on to the middle fuel rail. So you get it like that, you know that is lined up correctly. Uh, these parts come over here. We'll figure out how to connect them later. Uh, and then attached to them, we have that piece that's going to the lower AOS, this piece that is coming uh, to the part that we put between the manifold, and uh, this one here runs along just the top of the oil cooler. So we'll get that on there in a little bit. In reviewing the old footage, we found this piece, which has two E10 bolts down here and some slots in this plastic to hold some of the uh, fuel rails or some of these other cables, I assume. And it bolts right here. With those two bolts, so those are E10s. Just kind of attach uh, this thing real quick. Uh, All right, that. so we found <laughs> this hose that had airbox written on it that was coming up through here. And then it came around here. This is our vacuum line. I think it was tucked under there somewhere. But this vacuum line is attached to a Y splitter and that little box here. And then the third part of the Y splitter was this one that had something yellow marked on it. Came out by the alternator. So we jammed that under there for now. All right, we have this electrical connector. And uh, what's it plug into? What's that thing? I don't know, but I've replaced this before. It's some sort of air actuator thingy. Oh, is that the part that has the vacuum on it that I yep. just installed in there? Okay. That's, so, but I think the vacuum to, line thing. Yeah, I think we need to mount it somewhere because it has a mounting battery. Yeah, so that mounts somewhere. But it gets connected here. So we're running out of things to connect, meaning all. All males are with females. Yep. All right. So it goes over there somewhere. Yep. I'm going to put it underneath here. And then we'll find out where it's mounted. All right. Perfect. All right. I think this is going to be a good stopping point. Hopefully you guys have given it a thumbs up. We will come back, continue on the next episode. Uh, if we're forgetting anything or if you have any tips for us, help us out. Leave them down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.